This might get me into trouble, but what if I suggested that most Christians are thieves? See, there's this weird notion in a lot of Christian circles that some things in creation are inherently good and some are inherently evil. Or another way some Christians say it is that there are some things that are sacred, like church, baptism, and Christian music, while everything else, like politics, art, food, music, trees, exercise, and athletics, isn't that important and thus secular. And some might think this view is right, and even if it's wrong, they would say it's harmless. But what if I suggested that the view isn't just wrong, it's destructive? What if I suggested that it actually turns us from glorious image bearers into cosmic thieves? It's not harmless, it's stealing. Stealing God's glory that He deserves. See, the narrative the Bible paints is one where a generous God makes all of creation, all of it, trees, air, animals, relationships, food, vocation, and He says that it is good. The God of the universe called and declared it good. He breathed into the fabric of the cosmos a deep sense of peace and rhythm, or shalom as the Hebrews like to say. And looking out at this creation should produce nothing but thankfulness, worship, and awe in us. Because creation is a mirror reflecting his beauty, not a billboard advertising itself. So what if I suggested that the things themselves aren't evil, it's just the distortion of those things? See, the problem with mainline evangelicalism is we wanted to make a manual on morality to make our job easier. So we said, this over here is evil and this over here is good. But what room does that leave for the spirit? Where's the wrestle? I mean, if we only give God glory for Christian things like baptism and Christian music, we are saying God doesn't deserve glory in a lot of other things that he himself deemed good. At the end of his life, the apostle Paul wrote to Timothy and said, for everything created by God is good and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is made holy by the word of God and prayer. That means when you bite into good food, it should produce thankfulness. And when you listen to beautiful music, it should produce thankfulness. And when you exercise, it should produce thankfulness. I mean, the main contributor of the New Testament makes it clear that it comes down to a thankful heart, not explicitly Christian behavior. Because if something is being done in truth with a thankful heart, then that is Christian behavior. I mean, if God created all things and he declared all those things good, then the job of the Christian isn't to live in a bubble and only come out on Sundays, but it's to reclaim the goodness in those things. It's to kick back the darkness and show a new way of life in the midst of the old one. And when that is happening, God's kingdom, his way, his reign, and his rule will be on display for all to see.